What's up, everybody? It's Buffalo Ben 15 Golf back at it again. And today we are at the Legacy Golf Links in Aberdeen, North Carolina. It is a Jack Nicholas design. The one, the only Jack Nicholas, yes. And probably the nicest course I played in all of my spring break trip. But. It's also the worst weather day. As you can see by the wind, by what I'm wearing, it was absolutely atrocious weather to begin. I believe it was 38 degrees um, when we teed off. So, yeah. Real, real tough conditions. I pushed my first drive to the right into the pine straw, but... As you remember on the Highland Golf Club course vlog, I did pretty well out of the pine straw. And I hit another really, really good shot here. 195, four iron onto the green. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff. Green and regulation on number one. That's always a great, great sign. All right. Got a big putt here. Extremely downhill. And it's not my best. Y'all are gonna think I cheated, but I made that comebacker. The one time I don't record the putt, I make it. Yeah, that sounds about right. All right, so part to start. Um, hopefully we can make some more putts. So par to start, off the hole two, par five, 530 something. Uh, hit this one pretty well, just off to the left side, so we still have a long way to go. And um, by the way, I wanted to have Shot Tracer on this video. That's why I haven't posted in a while. Um, but I don't know what's going on. For some reason, my phone's not downloading the app. And um, I promise you guys, once I get Shot Tracer on my phone, you will see a course vlog with Shot Tracer. So, sorry that it's not on this one. I, I promised you guys it would come soon, just not quite yet. Um, so I hit a decent three wood. To be honest, 8.30 in the morning. Looks really good. The fact that I didn't top that is in all my restrictive clothing is kind of impressive, I guess. Yeah. Right and on I hit the green. this shot, which About an eight footer. is probably one of my best approach shots of the trip, let alone the day. Um, let's, let's go one under through two holes. When was the last time that happened? I think it was at a tournament that I played for my high school about a week ago. Um, and I actually have about six, six and a half holes of that on film. And I, I wasn't the one recording. My dad was. Um, so um, as long as my coach is cool with it, I'll be able to post that. So stay tuned for a tournament golf vlog, guys. That'll be fun. Um, I played it at Farmington Hills Golf Club, which is uh, the course where I broke 80 on for the first time. So, fingers crossed that we do a repeat on that. Uh, but for now, we're going to try to break 80 today. We haven't broken 80 all trip. Um, I think I shot like 83 University Club of Kentucky. Then I played at a course called Gibson Bay in Richmond, Kentucky. Shot 86. The weather was terrible. It was so windy. I wanted to vlog that one too, but... The camera would literally not stay up. Like the stand, the camera stand would literally not stand up. So that happened. Then I played two courses in Tennessee. I played pretty badly. I Obviously shot an 88 at um, Gatlinburg Golf Club, and then 86 at Sevierville Golf Club Highlands course. Um, and then I played Longleaf Golf and Country Club in. Um, Southern Pines, North Carolina. I shot an 85. Um, the weather was not the greatest that day either. 
Yeah, um, I'll give you your thing. I shot three sevens in a row, <laughs> just to give you an idea. I blew up that bad on like three holes in a row, and I still managed to shoot 85. Um, then I, you obviously saw the 84 at Highland, so... My best round so far is an 83. That needs to change on this trip. I've successfully broken 90 at least on every round. I mean, you know, All right. it could have been worse, I guess. Um, so we get a bogey there. Pretty tough hole. I believe that was stroke hole three that I just played. This is actually stroke hole one. This uh, par 4, 412. Out of bounds to the left, there's some houses over there if you could hear the hammer a little bit. Some dense woods on the right. So, I hit it right down the middle. I absolutely cork this drive. I think I have like 125 in. Uh, so, I, I really... I actually... If you... If you could see just like a couple seconds ago, I looked yeah. at my that was the wrong club, club really like to, to see that. if it was the right club and it yeah. wasn't, but I I was feeling it, so I just really climbed on a sand wedge here. That that was a sand wedge that went 130. Now granted it was downwind, but still that's 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 a big shot. And it's not like I thinned it either. So we waste it, though, anyway, on a bad putt. I just kept thinking, oh, Jack's course, it's going to be fast, it's going to be fast, and they weren't as fast as I thought they would be. Um, they were decent. They just weren't terribly quick. It wasn't like Devil's Ridge or something back home. All right, so another bogey. On stroke hole one, honestly, bogey's fine, I guess. Um... I mean, if you're going to choose any hole to bogey, it should be that one. So we're two over through three. We got our first par three of the day. Uh, 159 yards. Uh, hit an eight iron down the hill. And um, I'm off the green over the back to the left. Um, there's actually water on the left side of the screen, but I cleared that. Um... Yeah, these par threes were just insane. All of them had water on them. Just right. going to give you a heads up. All of them had water hazards on them. So, yeah. Legacy Golf Links, everybody. Jack Nicholas Design. What do you expect, right? Um, so, this chip was decent. Uh, didn't really want to get too cute with it. Try to bump it into the hill because, you know... Early season, probably not the best idea. Yeah. Sometimes it takes a funny hop. So, we've got about 13, 14 feet maybe for par here. And just don't give it quite enough. All right, another bogey. We're staying pretty even keel, though. No blow-ups. Right. Hopefully there won't be any. So we've got our... Another par 5. 484. This one's a lot shorter. Can reach this in two, for sure. So... Gonna give this one a rip. Hit it really well. Driver was doing pretty well today. At least up until this point. Like I said, not going to give any spoilers. Except for the par threes all having water on them. So, got about 2.30 in after that drive up the hill. Have three wood. I want to get on this green. You know I like to use my three wood from 2.30. And I do the one thing. The cardinal sin of hitting woods. I went high and I topped it. Yeah. Way to go me. So now this all of a sudden becomes a scramble for par. 
Um, this is a 145 pitching wedge here. I hit it well. I pull it pretty bad, though. Well, we got a We're on the green. Putt. But, like I said, we've got a long way to go. About 70 feet, I think I measured it. So, I give this one the full business, as you can see. Not bad. Yeah. Still come up a little short. Still a little work. Honestly, it wasn't bad, though. I mean, what is this? Six, six and a half feet? From 70 feet away? That's not terrible. Um, Come on, make this. Come on. Yes! yes. Yeah. Suck it, Highland. Why couldn't I have done that at Highland Golf Club? That, that's what I needed to be doing to break 80 at Highland. I'm telling you, those greens ate me alive. But so far, I've been doing, I mean, at least better with these. So, off to seventh hole, short par four. Hit a real good five wood here. As you can see, the swing's looking pretty good, especially as it gets warmer in the day. So, got uh, about 135, 140 in, I'd say. Got a gap wedge. Pull this one really bad. That's two holes in a row where I had a good drive, and in the blink of an eye, the pace of the hole changes from good to bad. But we did make a par in the last hole, so let's see if we can make another one. We've got to carry this one about two thirds of the way, and I. It was just a real awkward hill, and I try my best to bump it through the rough a little bit, and I land it maybe about a yard long of where I wanted to land it. So you got this 20-footer downhill for par. Nice try. That's a no gimme. That's not terrible. Right. So we tap that in for bogey. Um, got a, another short par four on this one. There's a big old waste hazard down about 240 off the tee, and it's downhill tee shot. So we have to hit four iron here. And we pull it off. Crispy for it. Not this time. So, yeah, as you can tell, I'm real pumped about that one. Right in the middle of the fairway. Go, position A. Down the hill to the green. Um, yeah. You guys have seen me hit my four iron before. That could have easily smother hooked into the woods and I would have been dropping it like the ladies tee. So that was definitely a big victory. Four iron, being able to hit a four iron um, on a tight par four in 45 degree weather in front of two guys that I had never met before playing along with us. Yeah, good stuff. This chip was decent, just rolled out a little bit more than I expected it to. So, got a putt down the hill for par. Know what I say downhill? This one's real slippery, so I tap this. What are you doing? Just hangs on the edge. <sighs> so frustrating. Oh man, that's that's tough. All right, it happens to everyone at some point. Dang, thought I had a par. Once I hit that putt, I was like, oh yes. So to finish the nine, 
Got a par three down the hill, 164. Um, Easy chip. Playing a little longer than that today. And um, I'm over. It's pretty good. The left it's side of the right green by again. Me. Well, I'm not over the green. I'm just like yeah, left of the green. So it was all right. I figured I'd show you dad's tee shot there just to give you some more scenery. And then he hits this awesome bunker shot. Way to go, dad. Um, dang, that, that was impressive. Um, i telling you, North Carolina sand helps. So we've got chip up. This one did okay. Didn't roll out as much as I thought it would. Basically, everything wasn't rolling out as much as I thought it would today. And then someone chips onto the green and rams into my ball. So that was nice. Getting a free read off him, though, so that's nice. Um, so, got about six feet to go. I'm at plus five. So if we make this, we shoot a 41 in the front, which honestly is pretty decent. And we pull it. So 42, 19 putts. Putting was not great. Is better than Highland on this nine, but not by much. Um, that three putt on stroke hole one, I thought for sure after that drive, I was like, oh, dude, you just made par a lot easier for yourself. You know, one thing I've learned um, on this trip is that the pace of a hole, the trend, the tone can change in the blink of an eye. So definitely something to think about going into the back nine. All fours and fives stayed pretty consistent. The swing looked pretty consistent and didn't look wild. It looked like I was keeping the backswing relatively short. Yeah, look at that scenery, right? Isn't that something else? That was number five. Um, if I had my pull cart with me, um, I would have set my tripod up on that and filmed uh, from up there. But you guys are going to see a lot of great views on the back nine. Um, something else this course offers is some great views. Yeah, look at that. That's my next tee shot that I'm going to hit on the next golf vlog. Forced carry, and if you go right, you're dead. We've got a long way to go at the Legacy Links. Um, 42 after the front. Need a 37 to break 80. It's a par 36. Um, so... Tall order, but you guys have seen me pull it off before. So stay tuned for that. Stay tuned for the uh, school tournament golf vlog coming up at Farmington Hills Golf Club, as long as my coach is cool with it. Um, so, yeah, that's basically all I got. See you guys in the next course vlog. Should be up in a few days. This is Buffalo Ben 15 signing off. Have a good day, everyone.